Hey guys, how you doing? I'm over here at Lilac Park over here in St. Louis Park. I did a video for this. It will be up on the Adventure Channel in about, uh, I don't know, December. But yeah, I think it's, it's Colleen Bellin Bellinger, I think it is. I, I, I've heard different ways, okay, about this young lady of the problem with, unfortunately, going after children using this website to uh, groom children, unfortunately. Just the basic cigarettes today, right? Five bucks a pack, I'm not sure. Here's where I look at it. Gay men always have icons I look up to. Look at Madonna. She um what I better wait her, I guess we almost died of a drug overdose, like allegedly, whatever. Gay men always because men are visual and women are emotional. So when a man decides, I want to be gay, I can talk like a gay man. Oh my God, you guys, oh girl. It's unbelievable what this, hey girl, Colleen, unbelievable. Hey Trish, it's not that tough to get over the emotional. Nothing wrong with being gay, I don't care. Exit only for my, my crank, but a $20, $20, right? For my anus, excuse me. So, I think she's an icon, uh, an icon for these young gay men between 15 and 30, whatever, because on this video p website, you can reach out to your creators. People can send me emails. Hey, I send Wonder Hus emails once in a while, suggestions to her, whatever I may see, something's good. Other people, male or female, if I, hey, I like what I saw, nice video, and they'll respond back, thank you. And that's all I do, or I'll respond down below um, to a, a one creator, he's, he's in the desert as well. Um, uh, I can't remember his name. Is it right off the top of the head? He always responds back. Says thank you. And I shared it. My my train guy all the time. I said good job, man. He does a really good job on train spotting, right? Fiesta Fiesta Adventures. And he respond back. I mean, I've got two guys that harass me for the last. They, they're obsessed with older guys like myself that have a job, wife. One wants to has wants to rape my wife, have me watch. The other one has said stuff to my wife. They've been in a, a relationship for a while. The one in uh, Rhode Island cheated on their their gay relationship with a woman, impregnated her, and now they've broken off. But both these guys, I was there. I get they're obsessed with older men and the iconic figures. I guess I must be iconic. I must be a um, an icon for them. What do you want to call it? A gay, I don't know, a, a strong male. They both have done this. They they both get overly obsessed. Neither one of them know what this is. Money. While they go out and get a job, one loses his dad, other loses his grandma in the basement. The other one, Rhode Island, cheated on his fiance with another woman, with a woman, and he was mad. Whatever. What I see is the guy that Colleen sent his stuff to is a gay man. I get it. And then there's another another one that they we supposed to do a podcast with, um, Trish, right? But a lot of these gay men on here can re reach out and talk to these iconic figures they see on these icons, right? Like Barry Manilow has always been a big guy for gay men, right? And also with like Madonna and Cher and whatever, maybe a gay a an athlete. But I notice all the responses on here from the gay men are all just like, oh my God, because then the ones that are defending her are young gay men. And now I understand, young, under the age of 18, because they want to be her. They want to be like Colleen, Miranda, whatever her name is, her real name. I think it's Miranda Sings and her number. So th this will pass. I, either her channel leaves. As this goes on, YouTube's going to wait for the crescendo. It's like, they're gonna wait for her channel to make money, and then when it starts going, then they'll get rid of it. So right now, you, um, YouTube's just making money on her boorish behavior, and then they'll finally delete it after it starts to come down. Then they'll, oh, she's done. They're making money as the stock rises, then they'll get rid of it. But I think a lot of these young gay, these young men, you see on here defending or have been after her look up to her as an icon. They, they're like butt wipe looking up to poop. That's what they look at, this young lady is. And I went, I go that with, with young guys that look I, mad at me, whatever, because I have a life, and they don't. You know, they, they don't work. Either one of them have a, a car, one drives a scooter. That's what you deal with when you're on this video platform, because you can reach out and touch somebody. 
But I think it comes down to these young gay men that just think she's the best thing in the world. And, you know, again, men are visual, women are emotional. So when you're a gay man, I, I get it, you want to have the transition, but some guys just want to be gay, but they don't want to give up the plumbing, right? Some want to get the, the credit card slight in there and they want to have that, fine. I don't care, you're just cross-dressing. I understand that, nothing wrong with that. But I, I just notice all this behavior going on with her are the ones defending the young man that Trish was talking about her, but all these other women that like to go after her. I don't know if it's their jealousy of, of the following she has, not of her behavior, trust me. But it's interesting to watch all the creators on here that I get it, I create, but I also work. I work today, I made money, right? I go to work. I enjoy making videos. But it's interesting to see these creators I had no idea about that do these hour and 15 minute podcasts, whatever. It's not a streaming website, really not. Spreaker.com is. They sit on there. Especially the women. Let's rip on. Women are very catty. But I just think there's, there, he, she is a gay icon for these young men and some of these women that just, I don't know, like to rip and then exchanging nude pictures with that girl because women love to shame each other. I worked in a beauty business. There was a 35 people in the, in the company and five, four more men. The women constantly would be real, hey girl, and then they turn their back on her and say, she's got a shitty ass or whatever, she has fake boobs, whatever. They love the rip on. I'm not surprised she's making fun of nude bodies. Again, if I really need to see a nude body, I can simply go on RedTube right now on my on my phone, which I'm not going to, and I can go see boobs, right? And all kinds of fun stuff, right? But I understand it when you're 15 or 14, you're dealing with your sexuality, and you, you, you latch onto somebody on YouTube, and then you want to defend her. There's no defending, but I think in time, either her channel will be d deleted or terminated from YouTube as she makes money and people come to it to see what it's all about, then they'll get rid of it. I don't know, or she'll come back like nothing even happened. But um, yeah, when these gay men, when they try to take on a persona of woman, they are still visual because they're a man. They still think like a man, but they want to create a woman. Hey, I'm a Melissa Etheridge fan. A lot of the bull dykes, lesbians, like Melissa because she's uh, all woman but a lesbian. She's a, a, a dyke. I understand that. I was in a, um, I was over in um, Hampton Beach and, I, and there was a mosh pit. I came out with a ripped destroyer shirt and a bloody lip. They, they, I was the only male in there. They didn't like it. That she pointed to me and liked my destroyer shirt. It became unruly. Not wrong with these, you know, the lesbians. Or, you know, I get it. Some are, usually the relationship, you have the woman lesbian and then the bull dyke, whatever. They don't like men, but they want the sperm. They want to dress like a man, but they hate a man. Same the because the, the, the gay the gay man will always take up a set of women. They want to be around women because they want to look up. They see her as this beautiful woman, and if it's if it's Madonna or if it's Cher, and they look up to it. Oh my God, hey girl, oh my God, she's so great. They go to the concerts and they spend a lot of money on her. I get it, but this she is a gay icon for these. Because YouTube is, I mean, obviously, I, if I like Cher, I don't mind the woman, but I, I don't think I can reach out to Cher. The Kardashians, let's say like the Kardashians. I don't think I can reach out to them. Where on here, Miranda, I can, hey man, how you doing? Type in, she'll respond back, right? If it's Savage Live or any creator on here, Wonder Hussy, I can say, hey, how you doing? Send her an email. She may respond back. But she is the gay icon for these young gay men on here. I'm telling you. And this, and then the other Trish chick, we responded to her. We responded to her on a, uh, on a, on a, on a podcast and like I said the other video if I'm going to tell somebody hey I'm not going to share your new uh, pictures new pictures look out so I'm not surprised women love to do that we're the beauty business like I said at international hair goods and beauty we had a philosophy beautiful never has a casual day the women came impeccably dressed every day and full to tilt from head to toe but they would always criticize each other where they looked their body everything about it right if you ever allow women like that, especially in the bar, more women in a company, the more women you have in a company or gay men, they get over emotional. 
I've watched Survivor, and there's a few gay men on there, and yes, they have the strength of men, but they get over emotional and tend to vote out, oh my God, what am I gonna do? They become this, this crying liberal idiot instead of just doing it, because they want to think like a woman, but you can think like a woman, but act like a man. Okay, I understand that. You want to uh, put your crank in another man's ass entirely up to you, I guess. You know, I'm stinking the pink only, but I do think it's interesting with this um, behavior going on with her. We'll see where it all goes. But I think in time, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube channel will go on the road as they ride the wave. So, she's a gay icon for these young gay men. Great. But you can't be apologetic and give her a hall pass for these poor choices. It was not a mistake. You can have that content for young kids, and that's great. And you can respond back in emails and say, hey, thanks for listening. But I know a lot of these creators have no idea about it, can do these long-ass videos. I did you 11 and a half minutes, but it's time. It's, it is what it is, man. So I get it. You want to be a gay man, there's better gay icons you can look up to than this chick. But YouTube's a very small platform, and there's a lot, a lot of shaming going on on here and everything else. And I know how it is when gay men chase after an old man like myself. They only wish they could get married and have a good job and retire without a problem. So anyways, you guys, from the park here at St. Louis Park, Lilac Park, beautiful day on the 8th day of July, 2023. See you guys later. Bitch, please. I mean, bitch, please. See you later. You're in trouble, young lady. Colleen.